I always thought it was really difficult to be a priest, but then I was sent to live with Father Dave, and I realized how easy it is, how much fun you can have being a priest, being with him for four years already, and uh, so it's been a great joy to be at St. Francis. When I was about six years old, I, I remember telling my mom that I want to become a missionary. And uh, I was born in Mexico, I was the seven of seven. And my mom saw me and said, okay, great. That's good. That's all she said. And uh, going to Mass, uh, seeing the priest celebrating the Mass, always draw my attention. And I will ask questions about the priest, who he was, and I thought he was a very special person. Uh, chosen by uh, someone very specific, and he had to have very particular gifts. I never saw myself celebrating the Mass, but I always was attracted to the Mass. And then I grew up, forgot about that, and I moved to the United States. And my desire to become a priest kind of like went to the, to the back burner. Then it was on December 2003 when my older sister invited me to go to Mass for December 12th. And uh, I refused to go to Mass, although I was in and out. Sometimes I'll go to Mass one, once or twice a, a, a month. And uh, she said, let's go to Mass, because on December 12th, it's Our Lady, let's go celebrate. And after she begged for a little bit, I did, I went. And from then they made, made an invitation to join the youth group. So the, the youth group at a parish at St. Mary's in Chicago, I was reconnected to, to, the, uh, to the church. I started going to church uh, every Sunday, participating in the youth group and everything. Then a couple of priests that I got to know asked me about becoming a priest. And that immediately went back to my mind when I was, when I was little. And I kind of refused and I asked God for proofs. And I said, okay, Lord, if you want me to be a priest, you have to show me this. Uh, I dated just to make sure that that was not what God was calling me to to get married, but then it didn't work out. Then I finally said, okay, Lord, if you call me to be a priest, I'm going to contact the vocation director, and at the time it was Father Kevin, and my English was not that great. I don't think it was good at all. And I said, okay, Lord, if you want me to be a priest, then I have to improve my English. So then I did. I went to school and for my English. I didn't have a high school diploma yet. And I went to classes to get my diploma, I got it. And I asked, okay, Lord, if you want me to become a priest, then you have, to, you have to help me to get my degree, and I got it. I went to college and everything. I, uh, when I was in college, I remember I went to Father Frank Torres, and I said, Father, I don't know if I should continue in the seminary. And he said, well, take it one year at a time. Being in the seminary doesn't mean that you are a priest. It means that you're discerning. So keep going to the seminary, keep praying. I did, I went to the seminary in my, after I finished college, then I had to move from different places. But throughout my, my discernment as a seminarian, I always kept in my mind, okay, Lord, if you want me to continue on this path, help me so that I can finish this year, so that I can finish the next year. And then once I was about to enter my third year in the seminary in theology, I was pretty sure that the Lord was calling me to become a priest. Yes, all of us have that desire in our hearts, and I heard somewhere that every man should ask himself, is God calling me to become a priest? And I, just, I think just to explore that idea, we have it in our minds, okay, Lord, the Lord wants us to, to get married, to date and, and get married. But I think we have to give God the same chance. If God is called is calling many of the young men to become priests. Let's give him a chance. And then he will show us, he will show you if he really wants you to become a priest. The gifts and the, the talents that, that we need to become priests will come. But then we just have to make the commitment. And of course, prayer and is a good a way to discern. Many, many of you have, and your parents, I think, young men who could become priests, or at least could, could consider become priests. Don't be afraid to approach them and ask them, have you considered, have you prayed about what God is going to do? 
I think us planting the seed that will, will help them. In the same way that my sister planted the seed just by inviting me back to church. And from that, that on, then God took care of it. So I think many of us have the desire to, I think as priests, have the desire to ask the young man, okay, consider uh, becoming a priest. And then we, can, we just give them the tools, and then it's up to them and God. But it's up to us to pray for them so they may be open to the call.